I'm Christine Persichetti with this Currents News update. Big news out of New York's governor's office. Andrew Cuomo is resigning. The best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to governing. The governor has been dogged by several scandals in the past year, including accusations of sexual harassment by 11 women. He's also accused of understating the number of nursing home deaths by 50 percent during the pandemic. The governor says his resignation will take effect in two weeks. New York lawmakers are praising the move. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying the governor's decision was the right decision for the good of the people of New York. New York Attorney General Letitia James sending out a series of tweets thanking the governor for his contributions to the state, saying today closes a sad chapter for all of New York, but it's an important step towards justice. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul will take over, becoming the first woman to lead the state. Hochul is a Buffalo area native and got her law degree from Catholic University in Washington. She's a supporter of the pro-choice agenda and once garnered attention for opposing a plan to grant driver's licenses to undocumented immigrants. She tweeted that she agrees with Cuomo's decision to step down and is prepared to be New York's 57th governor. Some politicians on Staten Island are suing the Big Apple over its vaccine mandates for private business, calling the no shot, no service rule at restaurants and gyms government overreach. Current News' Jessica Easthope has more. The new mandates are arbitrary and capricious. We'll see you in court. That's attorney Mark Fonte's response to a vaccine mandate he's calling a constitutional nightmare. These particular mandates target restaurants, restaurants not being treated equally under the law. Later this month, New Yorkers will need proof of at least one vaccine to dine indoors, go to the gym or attend a concert. But the lawsuit being filed on behalf of elected officials representing Staten Island and Brooklyn states it should be a personal choice. There's a line that government right now is crossing. We should encourage a vaccination. We should not be mandating that they, they get vaccinated or carry passports to be a part of everyday society. Mayor Bill de Blasio is crediting the city's recent incentives with a 40 percent increase in vaccines in the first week of August. But these elected officials say don't take the numbers from us. Talk to your medical provider. Talk to your individual physician and they'll give you the best advice for you. Job for your constituents. The lawsuit is looking to put a hold on the mandate until a judge can rule on the case. It will be filed on August 16th. On Staten Island, Jessica Easthope, we'll Currents News. The Diocese of Brooklyn and the Archdiocese of New York want to make you aware religious exemptions for the vaccine will not be given for Catholics. According to a memo from the Diocese of Brooklyn sent to priests, the reason is that the Vatican has determined the vaccines are all morally acceptable. Bishops in Colorado are in support of religious exemptions, saying in a statement the prelates understand the convictions that lead people to not get vaccinated. The bishops in the state support people getting the vaccine. They also listed so-called relevant points for this decision, such as the moral duty to refuse vaccines if they are created using aborted fetal cells. After weeks of fiery debates and negotiations, the Senate has passed the $1.2 trillion infrastructure package. It's the largest investment in our nation's aging public works system in more than a decade, but it's not a done deal yet. Now the bill goes to the House, where Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she won't bring it up for a vote until the Senate also passes an anti-poverty and climate bill. The person who tried to send an envelope containing three bullets to Pope Francis has been identified. Italian police haven't released a name, but say the sender is a French citizen who is, quote, already known to Vatican security. Right now, they're trying to figure out the suspect's whereabouts. A Rwandan immigrant has turned himself into police for killing a French priest. The suspect was out on bail awaiting trial for the 2020 arson at Saints Peter and Paul Cathedral in Nantes. Investigators say Father Olivier Mayer had offered him a place to stay and was beaten to death. The suspect has a history of psychological problems. That is this Currents News update. The newscast will be back to its full length this fall when we move into our new studio. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news.